So we've seen your comments. <gasps> Ow! It's always a competition with her. We're sailing good, bad, and ugly. Three years ago, we bought our boat off Craigslist for $5,000. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We are known to break the rules and do things a little less traditional. Hit subscribe to join the adventure. Thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. Welcome back to Sailing GBU. Today is an episode that I know many of you have been waiting for. Yes, many questions. You've been waiting for it. We've been waiting for it. A lot of people kind of ask questions. Why have you been laid up in Salinas so long? Did you move to Puerto Rico? Are you Puerto Ricans now? We do love Puerto Rico and I think we are honorary Puerto Ricans. Maybe let us know in the comments if you're from here. Throw us a quick wepa. And, uh, <laughs> but we were waiting on sales waiting on some sales and the sale has arrived. Finally, we got a brand new sale. We got a main sale that we're gonna be unleashing today. If you guys don't remember back when we were in, where was it? Oh, Hobos. Hobos, we were sewing up our main sale. It basically, we bought a old one that was used when we decided to start the sailing journey and it's old weared and teared and it's thin so we needed a new one yeah i was sick and tired of sewing up that old sail that sail had more stitches in it than i had in my face back in the day and that was kind of a kindred spirit for me but it was too much we needed some battens we needed this thing to sail better because it was just a soft old floppy sail so we got the new one and we're gonna put it up now made some improvements let's get it It's always important when you're getting new sails. Not to throw your other ones in the ocean. No, your old a, ones. It's important to throw your old ones into the ocean. It's a uh, good luck. It's an old maritime <laughs> thing. Y'all probably didn't know about it, but I just taught you. I can already tell just from touching it, just by seeing these flakes in it, that it's gonna be a lot stiffer than my old one. And I think this is gonna let us point, it's gonna give us at least five to 10 more degrees into the wind, I think. I think we're gonna be able to sail straight into the wind with this bad boy. So as you know, we work with Precision Sails. We got one sail from them before, a Hank on head sail. And we loved it so much, we tested it pretty hard going against the trades here for the last Let's see, when did we get that? In February, something like that? So it's been almost a year that we've had that sail and we loved it. That thing's been awesome. So we decided head sail's amazing. Let's see what the main sail's all about. So with this sail, I got a little bit deeper into the designing and just kind of the thinking about what a sail needs to do in all sorts of different environments and also thinking about different distance of passages. Obviously now we're working toward the wind and you want a nice stiff sail for that and that's what the battens are for to keep me nice and straight. This way I could fight against the wind and get as much as I could. But then also if I wanted to make a longer passage where you're gonna hit rough weather and there's no land in sight, so you kinda gotta deal with the sails you have. I put in a third reef so that I can reef it way, way down to where it's a little bit bigger than like a tri-sail, but it's a lot smaller sail that I could handle and up to probably like 50, 50 knot winds, keep me some steerage without having to uh, rip my mast down. And then also with this sail, another major difference that I did was we went with a free footed mainsail our last one was a fixed foot, which obviously has the little tracks that slide in, holds the bottom in completely. I don't really know what the advantage to that would have been. Maybe it keeps the sail tighter and straighter. But with the free foot, the studying that I did is that it gives it a little bit more of a 
curve, like a natural curve to the sail and you get more power, better performance. And then obviously if you get caught in a bad spot, you can just cut the foot loose and it'll fly out and kind of depower your sails. Like let's say a halyard got stuck at the top and bad weather was coming and you couldn't get your sail down. Something got jammed up there. You could always cut the foot and then kind of try to tie it up and get your get your windage down. So those were the major improvements we made on our main sail. Not only getting a newer sail with newer fabric that's going to be stiffer and less likely to tear and things like that and just uh, de-thread which is what our old sail was kind of just the threads were coming loose but we also got the third reef in the free footed and the full battens hopefully those three improvements will make a lot of performance enhancement for us i'm excited to sail with it all right guys so we've seen your comments we read them and we agree we are hard top we made is made out of pvc and we don't have any cloth on it we want to sew canvas we haven't gotten around to it, so for the time being, we decided to paint it. A lot of people said to paint it, it should protect it for a little bit, and this is just going to be a temporary thing. we got to be really careful not to hit the solar panels because we have noticed with our new solar panels that even a little bit of dust brings them down. So you have to, we have to wipe them, keep them very clean. We don't want to get paint on them, so let's do that now and protect our new hardtop. <laughs> exciting something that we thought of a long time ago was definitely on our hope one day we can get this for our boat and today is that day yeah I used to make fun of people for having these because I used to say it was soft soft sissy sailing but I'm a soft sissy sailor now I give up <laughs> Hank on sails are no fun so we got a roller furling system if you don't know what a roller furler system is it's basically a long stick that goes up your forestay with a wheel on the bottom that can roll up your sail completely or let it out completely or roll it up to the middle and you can do some reefing pretty easily there and you don't have to fold up your sails and they're not hitting the deck so basically it just keeps your sail off the deck it's a really easy way to deploy it and employ it Anyway, I don't know. Open it and close open it. Open it and close it. By the cockpit. Yeah, you don't have to go outside. Open, close it. Takes up less room. It's really great. We've uh, done a couple years now of the Hank on sails, and you got to fight with them sails when you hank them on. That's more of a crew thing. It's uh, not really just for two people when you're covering hundreds of miles. Or it's not ideal in the dark. No. <laughs> While we were looking into furlers, we looked into a lot of different companies. I'm sure you guys have seen a few. You can just look up roller furling systems and a bunch will pop up. But we went with Cruising Designs International, otherwise known as CDI, um, CDI furling systems. What we found interesting about it, what kind of drew us to it is it's a plastic extrusion. It's a little bit lighter than the metal systems as far as weight, and it's much less intricate. Um, it's just a rolled up plastic extrusion that you can unroll you can install it yourself there's not a million little parts to it and um and it's a plastic drum as well so there's nothing there's not much to corrode things like that to get jammed up it was a really simple system i was intrigued when i saw it it has a halyard installed so it's like a self-contained halyard so it doesn't take up one of your halyards that was pretty cool too so it's just kind of always ready to go they have a really good reputation for lasting a long time and being really tough and I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to roll out straight but it actually came out really straight so I'm really really excited to use it and I can't wait to uh to see what the sail looks like when it's pulling the boat along pretty cool they can ship anywhere and you can just kind of install it yourself you can do a self-install you don't need a bunch of stuff and speaking of install 
we decided to try to make it hard. We said, let's just do it all on the boat. We. I say we. I must have a mouse in my pocket. No, there was just me, basically. I was like, oh, let's see, you know, they can ship it anywhere. You can install anywhere in the world. Let me see how true that is. Let's see if I can install the whole thing from box to on my uh, four stay on the boat. So I tried to do that, and as we know here on GBU, I tried and I failed. I'm not ashamed to say it. What am I, supposed to be embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed. The, uh, the extrusion was 50 feet long, and it was just a little bit too long for my boat. I didn't quite have the room on deck to deal with it, and I didn't want to mess anything up. I probably still could have made it work back in hindsight, like once I got on land and everything kind of went smoothly after that. I probably could have made it work. But I didn't want to do something stupid and mess up our furling. And you so. only have a few hours. Yeah, right, you, since it, you there, the there is a little bit of time sensitivity with getting it uncoiled and all that stuff. So I didn't want to waste too much time. I didn't want to mess anything up. So I went ahead and ran like a ninny to land and fixed up the furler. So I got some clips of that right here. Check it out. We tried to do it on the boat. We failed. The boat was way too hard and I just felt like I would scuff it up. It does seem possible to do, but... It's going to be a lot easier here and you know time is of the essence with this extrusion you don't want to you don't want to diddle daddle so we came to the marina and now we're going to try to pretty much bend the coil all the way back around on itself and then tape those ends together then we have to let it go for about three hours all right guys so as per the instructions it says to let it sit like this for three hours and then pop it loose to see how good it's done so it's been three hours we're gonna see how straight it got But now we gotta get her back, back to the boat. Here's where the fun starts. So we're super excited guys. We've been waiting on getting these items so we can have a better sailing season. Now we're just waiting on our head sail. Yeah, it's been a long, hard hurricane season of boat project after boat project. And uh, these were we the- We got a lot done though, Matt. This has been a good... Oh, oh, we got a lot done? You got a mouse in your pocket now? The mouse jumped pockets. You know what? I tie-dyed these pillows, guys. Remember? And you cranked me up the mast a million And times. you remember those seamstress hands going oh, through the machines? Oh, seamstress hands. It's always a competition with her. I don't know why she <laughs> does this. You're the one who's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we've gotten a lot of work done. Let's take a look at everything that we've got done this hurricane season. <laughs>
right, so now I, the wind's calmed down a little bit. I'm gonna try to install my battens. They say that you should do this slowly because these can just fly out and kill everybody. But I'm pretty sure I can just grip this one spot. And oh it's my God, be all good. should I be running? Run Matt, away. Matt, you're opening those at me. Oh God. Maybe you cut them and I'll hold them. Sounds no. like. We'll go like this. Oh yeah, let's wrap it around by our prized possessions. Why are you ever like following the directions of anything? Cause rules were meant to be broken. <laughs> and here on GBU, we're known to break the rules and do things a little bit differently. You don't even remember what our intro says, you jerk. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got injured, everybody. Sorry, it slapped out and hit her like a can of snakes. Like I said, and you never listen. Mosquitoes are gonna come out now. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video. I hope you liked our new sail. Hopefully our other head sail will be coming in shortly so we can go sailing finally and start moving along on our journey. I'm done with the boat projects. I've been done on, with the boat projects and I'm just really excited for the new things to come and how this sailing season's gonna compare to the last one when we didn't have as many items. So make sure you guys like this video subscribe if you're new here and we'll see you guys next week bye, bye.